close your eyes for five seconds. Breathe in. Breathe out. Think of data analysis. What comes to your mind? Don't tell me something like Power BI, dashboard, visualization, uh, Python. Are those the keywords that come to your mind? Just think. If these are the keywords, then you have a long way to go. Well, why? Because anytime you think of data analysis, what should primarily come to your mind is business value. So anytime they talk about dashboard, talk about any data analysis project, your first thought should be, how is that adding value to the business? Because that is the point. Sometimes it is the business that knows the value. Another time, you need to identify the value first and let them know and see this value. Your activities should actually be value driven. So as a beginner, I say, value driven. Yes, that is it. Start from there. What am I doing? It's about value. Think about it this way. You want to learn data analysis? Then start with value. How can my project or how we, what I'll be doing as a data analyst add value to the business? I'm going to show you three ways to evaluate values. Number one, increasing revenue. Okay, so in what way is this solution or this project going to increase the revenue or contribute to efforts towards revenue increase? <laughs> Don't joke with this. Businesses want to see the value and this is one dimension of that value. All right, so for example, okay, the dashboard uh, com complaint management that maybe you built a customer complaint management dashboard that helps you to track, proactively track the feedback from customers and that way you can escalate to people to address on time. And, and at the end, after deploying that model, you realize that you should be able to track it. For example, you realize that customers are getting more you know, satisfied because their feedback has been managed on time. And you also see that there's increase in revenue towards that same time. And um, that way, you can see that yes, in one, one way or the other, this solution is adding, to, adding value to the business, either directly increasing the revenue or contributing to effort towards revenue increase. So you should be able, no matter the kind of project you work on, think of it in that direction. Once you cannot find it linked to revenue increase, yes, there's still another value delivery category that we're going to talk about, and that is cost reduction. Yes, cost reduction. So how is this project? Another question that comes to your mind. How is it going to increase, uh, reduce cost or contribute to effort towards cost reduction? If you build, for example, a customer segmentation model, that sort of tells you which customer is likely to leave you um, the lifetime of a customer, the one that are hibernating and the rest. And at the end, you target customers that are likely to leave and you are able to get them back or inactive customer, get them back to be active. What you've done there is you have saved the company um, acquisition cost. Because if they've lost those customers, the cost of acquiring new customers is always expensive than keeping the current one. So, you should be able to link it to that manner. So if it is not cost uh, revenue increase, then you should be able to link it to cost reduction. Uh, even if it is not cost reduction, then it should be process optimization. In what way is this solution helping to optimize processes? In what way is this project helping to optimize internal or external processes? If you develop dashboard for performance reporting, and now what it used to take them three to five days to come up with in terms of reporting at the end of the month, they now have access to it real time because there's a dashboard that shows them those KPIs. What you've done there is that you've made those, that process more efficient. That output performance report is an input to many other processes in the organization. A lot of people are waiting for that reporting to also come up with their own work or some things. But the fact that you made it real time, you have saved cost, you have saved time, you know, and that is an optimized process and bringing efficiency into operation. There are many other use cases, but these three categories are a good way to think around value. Of course, when customers are getting more fulfilled, you can map the net promoter score. You know, how has this project improved the net promoter score? How we are serving our customers? So look at it this way. Anytime you have a project or they talk about a project or someone mentioned a project, quickly scan them through these categories. Even as a beginner, yes, because you are value driven. 
The moment you are value driven, whatsoever you keep working on, will always be value driven. A lot of people will work, but they don't know how to identify the value of their project. But if you start now, even before you start building projects, so you you are you are not wasting your time. You are asking the right set of questions, and you are actually getting the right thing done. So it is good to always find a way to link whatsoever project you are working on to different value delivery categories, uh, because it starts with value and not even the tool. All right. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the second digest. Thank you.